So where are we at, Dizzy? We're at St. Mary's Glacier. It's slippery. Right now we're in the parking lot, but we're walking up to this little hiking trail. And we got some sleds. Sleds on deck. Jace is about to my board. snowboard. <laughs> Try to find some hills to hit. <laughs> some backcountry extreme sledding we got to go down. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> Brought some uh, hockey pucks. <laughs> Little hockey game going on. Disclaimer: I've never played hockey in my life before, but this looks like the spot to try it. <laughs> Whoa, this is crazy. So is this like a it's usually a lake? A lake. Yeah. Holy smokes! This I've never. It's kind of scary. Like, did you just go through this? <laughs> Going through this would be... I think you'd have to see like, the waterproof Yeah. These people are pushing it through the water. Yeah, they are. Getting to a thin spot. This is awesome. <laughs> Looks like someone was ice fishing there. Super. <laughs> yeah, you must to be on the video. Like <laughs> a bowl in there. And we walked all we didn't go back there. So we walked all the way up and around. Yeah. I don't know how to get out of there. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna try. Get as high as I can. I mean then, even where those people are at the very bottom is still relatively high. Yeah. That's where they like made the jump. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get up to that dude. So we can have a yeah, so we can get a little longer ride. Oh, dog collision. These dogs are just loving life in the snow. Talking. That's a photo. <laughs> hey. Okay. Good call on the sled. So it's made for the snow. Hey, bud. Halfway up, views are next level. Cooper's going strong. There's someone standing right up there. That is sweet. Shed. Look at the shed pickup. Yeah. I just got out of the news. 
Sorry, I'm trying to walk through it. I just found some terrible news yesterday. I did some research on Colorado shed hunting and they have seasons for it. It doesn't open until April or May, I, don't, I think. So I won't even be able to shed hunt. Not that I would find anything anyways, but it's kind of a bummer to hear. But whatever, I guess it's for good reasons. I'm trying to protect wintering grounds, but people hike there. It's just hiking. If you happen to find one, uh, whatever. I'm not going to get into that. But time to shred down the mountain. It's go time. See if I can make it down for it, guys. I mentioned it. it is a little icy. <laughs> Woo. Almost made it down without any falls. Say right over there. Did you see? <laughs> hey, what's up, everyone? So I just finished editing tonight's video, and as you can see, I took a spill at the end of that run on the snowboard and completely busted my lens when I fell. I like caught an edge. It was so icy. I caught an edge and went like head first, dove into the ground, pretty much like I was sliding in a home plate. I went down the mountain for a minute. And as you can see, I just, I caught the bottom of my lens right there and just dug it in and it totally bent it. So it worked for a little bit, as you can see. And then once I got up to Dizzy and Morgan, my camera just died on me. So that was all the footage I could get for that day. Cause after I charged up my camera, I put the lens back on and then it was telling me, um, lens not attached correctly and it wouldn't film through it anymore. So I had to go out and buy a new lens the next day, which I mean, it wasn't, planning on buying a new lens anytime soon, but I did be able to make a little upgrade. So hopefully you guys will be able to notice that in the upcoming videos with like farther zoom and just other, it's a more complex lens so I could do a lot more with it. And um, I've been playing around with like doing some like manual focus and a bunch of other stuff. I don't know. So it's kind of a new project for me is to learn more about this photography and video uh, videography. Now that I have a little bit, um, Comp more of a complex system on the camera other than just this little kit lens that was really only good for vlogs So anyways, thank you guys for watching and before I sign off I just wanted to give a shout out to a few new subscribers that subbed since the last video that I put out And uh, let me get your guys names down right here. So I want to give a big thanks to Matthew Samaro, Cody Bybee, Dolphin Too Izzy, and Arnold O'Sullivan Thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't already, do so so you can get some updates on our next videos because we're gonna have a ton of new stuff coming out this 
year and and you guys aren't going to want to miss 2019's new adventures so anyways thanks for following along guys until next time Bye.